shorts are nice. Sure, the guy's got looks, attitude, and a Bond diggity ride. But can he do this? Why would he want to? For the next seven days, you are a cultural ambassador. You represent this school, this city, and this nation. Don't worry, Mr. B. I am a master at the delicate art of diplomacy. But if they push any of that raw fish on me, I swear I'll chuck. Uh-oh. Ladies, ladies, please! You'll only be Ronless for one week. Be brave. Unstoppable <laughs> son. <gasps> Konnichiwa. I am Yori from the Yamanuchi School. It is my honor to guide you this week. The Nakos are safe. Go on without me. But we are almost there, Stapabo-san. It will be my honor to pass out. Secret Ninja School. Now, wait, is it a public secret ninja school? Oh, check out the sheep. Hmm. Are we the only two girls in Middleton not crushing on him? You know? <laughs> That Hirotaka does have really cool hair. I am so digging his hair right now. No, it's cool. I'm way good at keeping secrets. Unless, you know, it's something really juicy. <laughs> what? Who? Snooze button? Oh man. Even in Japan. <laughs> 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 Hirotaka, hi. I know. You do? Oh. You know the Mantis style? Well, I wouldn't say no. <laughs> I might say dabbled in. Show me. What? Right here? <laughs> I'll see you, Kim Possible. I'm a sheep. A crushing sheep. I believe in you, Stapabo-san. Good night. Ah, call me Veron-san. This place! Ron Sun is gonna sleep like a baby tonight. Hmm? No, I don't mean waking up every two hours crying for my mama. <laughs> I'm up, I'm up. All right, first dragon course, I'm there. Making Hero Taka feel right at home. Okay, I admit it, I am now officially crushing. I know. How can you not? Well, you two would make a totally cute couple. Come on, you two are truly madly. Kim, best friend says, go for it. Monique, I insist. Come on, Rufus. Time to kick some monkey tail. Ow! But let's get one thing straight. When it comes to saving the beautiful girl and winning her affections, that's my honor. Got it? Aw, oh, Fuji. Why is it always monkey? Why can't I ever be attacked by crazy supermodels? Talk to me, Wade. I need coordinates on the target ASAP. I don't know about this, Kim. Wade, this is serious. <sighs> okay. Target directly below at 5 o'clock. Kim, are you sure you want to go there? Cut the chatter, wait, I'm working. <gasps> oh, Hiro Taka! What a coincidence running into you here. What are you doing here? What am I doing here? You insisted. Who said go for it? Who was all truly madly? I don't even know what that means! You said it! I know. I didn't mean it. This is ridiculous. We can't be feuding over the same guy. We're friends. Kim, I am so relieved to hear you say that. I was thinking the same thing. Monique? What you gonna do? Bust out with some of that chump teen hero kung fu? Bring it here! Outsider, without the Lotus Blade, you are nothing! It is my honor to defeat you. Uh, my bad. I can pay for that, really. You just go ahead, you put that on my tab. I will miss you. Goodbye, Ron-san. Take care, Hirotaka. Stay in touch. Thank you, but I must say goodbye to my number one girlfriend. I'm sorry. I mean, we were ferociously whacked to risk our friendship like that for a crush. Boys are back in town! So 
So spill. How is Japan? Tell all. Hmm? Oh, you know, same old, same old. Agent Smith. And Agent Smith. What are you guys doing here? National security. We couldn't allow the public to see the Area 51 footage. So we switched it with one of your home movies. Home movies? Which one? I make a party. <laughs> Ron's big day? Ron's big day. Like wanna weep. Every time I think I'm out, she draws me back in. Turn down the drama, Ron. Once we dump the water back into the lake, everything will be fine. Will it, Kim? Face of evil! Face of evil! Oh, dear. I think we blinded him. I'd better go get him before he... Ooh! Uh -huh. Thanks. For 20 years, the six tasks of Snowman Hank has warmed the hearts of children everywhere. But not anymore. Take a powder, snowman, because this year Christmas is a turbocharged collision of cool. Live from the North Pole, it's Extreme Xmas. This could be the best Christmas ever. Who shot? They, they canceled Snowman Hank? No! Maybe this will cheer you up. Um, is it a cartoon snowman who teaches kids the power of friends, family, and turning bad guys good? Well, uh, no, but, uh, hey. Happy Annika. For me? Oh. Hey, that's us! It's a cyber scrapbook. Do you like it? It's... It's... It's badical! <laughs> Jimmy Cub, we're singing carols! Coming, Dad! Go! Sing. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna take a minute here. What are we gonna do? Christmas with the fam means everything to Kim. Yeah, I know. Maybe Draken knows that too. He must be up to something major. Yeah, ruining Kim's Christmas. You have to tell her. I guess... No. No, wait a minute, that's it. What's it? The absolutely perfect gift for Kim. Christmas with her family! Then who's going to stop Draken? Me. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Your grandfather and I got that one on our very first Christmas. That's why it's my favorite. Did Ron go home? Thanks for the ride, Captain Lewis. It's the least I can do. After you saved this old tub from sinking. Hold on. Can possible save my tub from sinking. Oh, oh, that's right. And I'm always right there. You know, key man. There was a fella with her. Busted my radio. Used my navigational charts for a napkin. What was his name? Ron something. Yes, 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 Ron something. Sadly, uh, Mr. Something didn't work out. We had to let him go. So I'll see you. I'll see you. We're in business. Come on. Come on. Uh, uh. <gasps> oh. Or I could just use the door. <gasps> you! Whoa! You want a piece of Ron? Whoa, wait, rewind. Ron went on a mission? Alone? It was kind of a secret Santa thing. But listen, before the explosion, satellites picked up escape pods. Ron's got to be in one of them. And these pods are where? So far, I only have a fix on the first one. It's in London. I have to go. Of course you do. My fault? It's not my fault. This is so your fault. What? I'm supposed to let you take over the world? In the spirit of the season, yes! Merry Christmas. Uh, could you tell me what happened to the guy who was in there? Weren't nobody in it. Are you all right? <gasps> Ron? Where are you? Yes, information? I'd like the number for 911 immediately, please. Kimmy, where's Ron? I don't know. He, he wasn't there. Was he with Dr. Draken? Yeah. Maybe they're at the North Pole. What? Yeah, she goes at the North Pole. Yeah, she's on Extreme Xmas. She is? Hey, aren't you supposed to be home bobbing for cider something? Not without Ron. Loser! Snowman Hank? Nice job, Rufus. Kim! <laughs> Come on, 
Nana's got a hypersonic aircraft waiting. Your Nana's here? Yeah, Mom, Dad, the Tweebs. Well, are you kidding? I mean, you were supposed to get to stay home and do all the possible family stuff you do every year. Ron, when I heard you went after Draken alone... You came to rescue me and ruined your Christmas, man. Are you kidding me? <laughs> now the Tweebs want to wrestle an anaconda every year. This Christmas rocked. I mean it. Really? It was way better than the Bueno Nacho Bueno Bucks you gave me last year. <laughs> to the people far and near, Snowman, Snowman Hank brought holiday cheer. cheer. This is... this is... I, I don't know what this is. Look who's under the mistletoe. Well, really it's small parsley I found in the dumpster, but oh. Aww. Kimmy. Kim, you do have the new routine ready for practice this afternoon? Oh, it'll be ready. Will you? Hmm. Not sure that look is working for you, KP. I didn't have time to find people for the park cleanup. Yep, it's just one more benefit of not volunteering. You stay clean and fresh smelling. Your decorations? I didn't know recycling was the theme. Hilarious, Bonnie. I've come up with a design that'll make the gym look perfect for the dance. Well, I haven't actually had time to put it on paper yet, but it's all up here. Oh, that Bonnie. She is the bossiest person on the planet. Bold statement, KP. It's a big planet. And I've been all around it, but I've never found a more controlling, devious, bossy... Miss Possible, thank you for coming so quickly. No big, it was a half day. Is it just me, or are these mannequins good looking? Nice. And what about the dance? Well, maybe just leave it to... Don't even say the B word. If I could just cover more ground faster... Or you could just learn to say no. I'm not programmed that way, Ron. Really, it's not that hard. Try it with me now, okay? Ready? No! No! <laughs> The Valkyrie 1000s hyper-accelerate the kinetic movements of living organisms. Right, right, obviously. Yeah, what's that mean? They make you go fast. Well done. Uh, KP, you're wearing the super shoes. And you think I shouldn't be taking the risk. That's sweet. Actually, I was thinking you could zip out to St. Louis for ribs. Mm-hmm, and fries. Come on, we've got a schedule here. Wait, the shoes are stuck. I'm moving so fast, time is standing still. Ron can't even hear me. And you can't either. Great. I could walk there faster than this. <gasps> Wear them after dark, night vision. Practical and flossy. Can this technology be used instead of a nightlight? Not that I sleep with one. Every single night. Since you were four. There were monsters in my toy box. Really? Give me some of that. Ah! Oops. <laughs> laser ring. More than just laser function. Maybe you better tell me now. Before I'm bald. Can you believe her? Someone really needs to put Bonnie in her place. One slice of humble pie coming right up. <gasps> Ron, that took a lot of guts. No guts, no glory. I didn't even know you had a talent. Oh, no, 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 I don't. That's why I signed you up. <gasps> you did what? Ron, I cannot believe you signed me up for the talent show without even asking me. Do you not comprehend how critically wrong that is? Let's stick to the facts. Fact one, you are signed up. Fact two, you won't give Bonnie the satisfaction of backing out now. Fact three, I know 16 styles of kung fu. You really need to take this unproductive anger you're feeling towards me and channel it into your act, don't you think? You are so flawed. Professor Dementor has stolen a top secret experimental teleportation module. Teleportation? As in the ability to transport stuff through the air? Through the telephone. That's the telepart. Yeah. Just pick something and blow Bonnie off the stage. Well, I did do some singing. You know, back in the day. <laughs> Perfect! A show-stopping original song! Okay, I'll get to work on producing the track. Rufus will handle the lyrics and choreography. <laughs> I was just looking for the dressing room. 
Ron, Rufus, here! The transportulator! There's something you should know. All is right! This is bad, Kim. You're gonna risk our reputation in front of the entire school and you can't even hit the high notes? Fact one, it's my reputation on the line here. Fact two, you are the one who got me into this. And fact three, I can and will hit the high notes. I can do anything. That's exactly what I wanted to hear you say, KP. We start rehearsals tomorrow. If you find your world is keeping That's in, right. you can do it. You can bet you're gonna need a friend. Someone to take those fears away, away, away. Say the word. See you at the show tomorrow night. If you even have the guts to come. There. Still plugged in the wall. Into the phone line. Ron, teleporting has nothing to do with telephoning. It's all fiber optics, Kim. <laughs> okay, first, you'll be sealed in a reinforced titanium box. You'll be dropped into this bottomless chasm. Then, the chasm will be filled with water. Then, man-eating sharks and a giant squid will then be released into the water. Hey, lastly, I shall freeze over the top of the water with a six-foot layer of solid glacial ice. Yeah, it beats humiliation at the talent show, I guess. Uh, hi. Okay. I didn't really prepare any... Unstoppable, everyone. It really does work like a phone. If you find your world is caving in, you can bet you're gonna need a friend. Someone to take those fears away, away, away. Say the word. We're unstoppable. What? Proving that quantity is indeed better than quality. to erase the nightmare of Camp Wanaweep than with a happy visit to Camp Gotagrin. Happy? I like happy. Maybe you're right. This could be good for me. I'm gonna be happy. <laughs> this is the same lake, the same lake! Have I been put on this earth to suffer? The water in Lake Gotagrin is uncontaminated. See? The lake's totally detoxed. Look. Busy little beavers, not a mutant in the bunch. You can take the evil out of the lake, but you can never take the lake out of the evil. Ron? That so doesn't even make sense. Doesn't it, Kim? Doesn't it? Ron, you can do this. Mad Dog can do this. Okay, for the squad. Oh, you have got to be kidding. We're... <sighs> roommates? No way. Cabin 9? Cabin 9. Okay, we have to deal. Good. While you're dealing, I'm claiming the top bunk. I wanted the top bunk. Knew you would, but it's like the top of the pyramid, Kay. My rightful place. Say what? KP, try to keep an open mind. <sighs> Ronnie? What are you doing? You look like you needed help. Oh, yeah. Huh, thanks, Gil. Hey, where's your outfit? Oh, I want it to be a surprise. Note. Suspicious thing number five. Just because I'm paranoid doesn't mean Gil isn't out to get me. Stick's not really made of gold, is it? Gold plastic. But it's not what the spirit stick is made out of, Ron. It's what it represents. What's that? That Bonnie can't have it. What are you doing? Special ingredient. Special mutating ingredient. So wrong. I'm the one with the evil roomie here. I gotta go. I'm keeping my friends close and my enemies closer. Hey, Gil, wait up! Kim! 
You know, Bonnie, the path to the spirit stick isn't paved with tardiness. I'm tardy because you unplugged my alarm clock. <gasps> Is that what that plug was? All yours, Rumi. Did I use up all the hot water again? Oh, hey, better hurry up or you'll be late for cheer practice. You're wasting your time, Kim. I'm not going to break. Well, I'm not gonna break either. Step aside, you save the world, and suddenly you're taking home the spirit stick. Bonnie, this so isn't the time for... Look out! Oh, uh, yuck! Ah! Stop a ball! Get back here and save us! Or more specifically, me! Ah! Chill, Bonnie. Ron knows exactly what he's doing. I hope. Bingo! Dial tone! That makes the score Ron 1, double L Gil 0. Okay, so now it's all tied up. It's the only way. I think I'm a beaver. I guess when you plunge headfirst into a toxic pool, you never exactly know what you're gonna get. Eat muck, chipmunk. <laughs> beaver! <laughs> it's Gil and Ron. And he's a chipmunk? Beaver! I'm a beaver! Told you he knew what he was doing. I think. Go! a huge fish than with a huge net. Way to go, beaver boy. Booyah! Wow. It's good to be human again. Although I really wanted to build a dam, you know, just the experience. Thanks for the help, KP. I seriously couldn't have done it without you. No big. As much as it pains me to say it, I couldn't have done it without Bonnie. Shh! They're awarding the spirit stick. After all that, we got nothing. I mean, what do we take away from this? Who cares what we take from it? I lost! Bonnie, there's always something you can learn from any experience. Normally, I'd say we learn that suspicion and paranoia is bad, except that's what saved us. Looking at you two, it's so clear! What, what is, is so, so clear? clear? If you two had set aside your differences earlier, one of you could have won that spirit stick. That's the lesson here. How about cheer camp stinks? Yeah, agreed. Yeah, works for me. Monkey Fist has escaped, and he's been spotted in China. No. No. No! Not monkeys again! Why does it always have to be monkeys? I can't stand monkeys! Done. Almost. Curse you, monkeys! <laughs> ah! Okay, I'm done. Ladies, ladies, sorry I'm late, but the mad dog has arrived. Oh, great. The slobber hound is here. Let's take a break. Okay, you girls cool off. The Ron man will be right here. This thing is fiercely irritating. Well, you always wanted the tattoo. I did not. Oh, right, that was me. And I wanted it right between my... Ron, too much info. It's the picture day curse. Ah, oh, this cannot be happening. Hey, KP, you forgot your uh, fuzzy caterpillar on your face. Please, it's bad enough without you freaking out. No, no, the unibrow works on you. <laughs> right, guys love the brow. Good, because we've got an ugly sit here, Wade. How ugly? This, uh... <coughs> <coughs> this is great. I'm about to go full monkey. Hey, Kim. Or full manky. Josh, Eep. Hey, is that a good book? This? Oh, yeah. Boy, it's fascinating. Wow, the dictionary. Yeah, I haven't read it yet. I figure I'll wait for the movie. You know KP. <laughs> Always studying. In fact, she's late for study hall. Okay, good luck at the cheer-off tonight. The cheer-off? Like this? Sure, the crowd will go ape for ya. Oh, sorry. Hold it right there, you two. Why aren't you getting your photos taken? Oh, Mr. Barkin, we were just on our way. Wait, Kim's gone over to the monkey side. Okay, don't panic. Don't panic. Panic? She's a monkey! A fur-covered tree beast! I'm working on a way to separate Kim's genetic matter from the amulet. Wade, you're talking science. This is magic. Evil, stinking monkey magic. You can't fight magic with science. I can too. No, you can't. Can too. Cannot. Can too. Cannot. Can too. Cannot. Can too. Infinity. Oh, he got me with the infinity clause. Maybe a monkey, but you're still a human being. They can't treat you like that. Now, come on. 
Yo, Josh, man, got someone here I think you'd rather be talking to? Total rudeness. We were dishing. Bonnie, no offense, but you're way out of your league. Excuse me? My man Josh here has had his eye on this little lady for quite some time. Dude, are you trying to set me up with the monkey? Uh-huh. Uh Yes, I know I'm a banana-eating tree swinger. Wait, how do I know you're Kim and not a real monkey? A talking real monkey? Anything's possible. Monkey Fist tried to get the amulet back. And by the way, thanks for noticing I was gone. But I thought he, she, it was you. Please, you'd never catch me wearing that dress. It worked. No more itching. Hey, Kim. Oh, hey, Josh. I didn't see you there. What's up? Just looting the old locker. You? Um, Kim. Uh-huh? I was wondering. Oh, I got a jet. Ooh. <laughs> oh, hi. Frankly, I find the whole dating thing to be overrated. Who would subject themselves to that? Those of us who can actually get dates. He was gonna ask me. I could see it in his eyes. So he takes you to dinner, you two see a movie, do that stuff together all the time. This is different, Ron. We're, we're talking about a real date with Josh Mankey. I want it to be perfect. Have you ever noticed that Mankey is but one vowel away from monkey? You know, I'm not implying anything. You have to admit they sound a lot alike. A lot, a lot mm -hmm. alike. Ron, will you let the Mankey Monkey conspiracy die already? I'm begging you. <gasps> it's Josh. Wait, I should bail. No, he's probably seen me by now. I should just, uh, act natural. No, uh, uh, I'll take the escalator and then make my entrance from the health food store so he'll think... Oh, <gasps> whoa! Hey! Kim? Smooth entrance, Kim. Very subtle. Josh, I I'm so sorry. I tripped and I was trying to... <gasps> hey, Kim, wait up! Are you okay? That was nasty. Ron, something critical is happening to me. Look at this. Yeah, I'm no doctor, but you might want to get that checked out. No embarrassment. Oh, wait, the phone. Hello? Kim, it's Josh. Josh? I know this is kind of last second, but do you want to hang out tonight? I don't know. Yes. I mean, no. I mean, yes. Yes. I'm sorry, is that your way of saying yes or no? The answer is definitely yes. Just give me a couple minutes to get changed, okay? We made it. How you like me now, Mother Nature? Who's your daddy? Who's your daddy's daddy? Uh -oh. uh, that's not on the map either. What is your most deep, dark, disgusting food combo? No way. Not until I know you way better. I... Oops. Excuse me, Josh. This is so embarrassing. Oh, no. No, no! Ah! Oops! Wade! We're free falling off a cliff! This is no time for oops! Actually installing the chute. It's sitting here in my closet. No! Buddy, just listen to the sound of my voice. It's gonna be okay. It was his first mission. He was so young. Stay with me, pal. Uh, I'll leave him. Uh. No, Rufus. No one gets left behind. Not on my watch. Ron, I'm fine. Get back to the flower already. All right. I'm fine and not embarrassed. Not embarrassed in the least. <gasps> Come on, Ron. What are you doing? Uh, I, I was going to hold your hand. Uh, can't. First date, you know. Okay, I respect that, I guess. Here you go, Kim! One rare endangered Amazonian orchid for... Kim, blinds down, computer off, phone, caller ID, caller ID! Monkey. 
talk to me, Wade. I'm picking up thermal scans from a floating head in Middleton Park. That's probably her, right? Hang on, Kim! <laughs> this is the weirdest date I've ever been on. What's with the cape? Long story. No, it's cool. <gasps> Josh, wait. Bless you. You know what this night has been? Yes, perfect. Every year, same story. Ron marinates and I do all the work. Never again. Never, ever. You're gonna have to show that boy some tough love. You're right. This year's science project is going to be different. Good call, KP. I didn't want to say anything, but last year's effort was kind of weak. Mm. Uh, you know, I mean, it was solid, but I know you can do better. Ron? Hello? Yeah, hold that thought, KP. Gotta run. See you in science class. Uh. <laughs> Your partner is... Monique. Hmm? Inspired choice, Mr. B. Monique maintains Kim level gradage. Listen, Ron, I'm not Kim. I will not carry you. Wish I could help you, but it's out of my hands. I'm serious, dude boy. If you won't work, I won't work. Not sure I believe that. Monique, I think we both know you'll do the work. What do you mean? Four words. Grade, point, average. <laughs> hey, you care. I don't. You... Check and mate. Ron, we're running out of time. I hear you, girlfriend. Look, I'm willing to do my half of the work, but you've got to step up, too. Monique, the system I worked out with Kim has served me well over the years. What system? You did nothing! Gotta go with my strengths. Okay, you know what? When you're ready to work, that's when we get this party started. Okay. The O-Boys are over. Stick a fork in them. Done. Really? But I thought they were the hottest band in the land. Last week, nobody would be caught listening to them anymore. The O-Boys rock my world! <laughs> O-Boy oh! oh Tech! KP! This is awesome! I am furiously psyched! It doesn't bother you that you're into a band that is so over? They're not over for me, they rock! I used to think so too, but I mean, come on, Ron, look around. Nobody is into them anymore. Him, who cares about everybody else? Ron Stoppable does not follow trends, he sets trends! Be back in a few, KP. Oh, I'll be right here, hoping no one sees me. You're Nicky Nick, right? Who are you? Ron, and I'm a Bond diggity dancer. Fanboy, keep studying. Wait, you've got to see this. Ryan, Dexter, Nicky Nick, and who's that guy? I told you to get lost. Oh. Rowan! Man, you guys know how to rock. What do you do for a finale? With Kim Possible on the case, your old boys will be back in no time. That's right. I'd help no matter what. But they got my best friend, too. This is way personal. What? He's not one of the new old boy. The other one. Yes, I remember him now. He's obviously carrying the others. Sorry, gotta take this. Yo, go, baby. We are not your baby. Junior, give me the phone. Must be wrong number. Don't think so. And I hate to tell you, but I definitely know those voices. You do? A bad idea. We'll give you another chance. Junior, please let me talk. Father, I'm speaking. I have ex... It's my turn. Son. Father. Oh, yeah. I've got everything I need. You mean... That's right. I know where to find Ron and the O-Boys. I have gone to a great deal of trouble to mutate an octopus. You've got the most whacked hobbies. I have been dreaming of watching you do battle with him. Well, keep dreaming. I would appreciate it very much if you would continue your fall now. Thanks, but no thanks. I am loath to force the issue, but... <laughs> Ah! <sighs> hmm. 
chill, guys. I know how to handle this. You do? Yep, we close our eyes and run, all together. I figure only half of us will get fried. Dexter's email address? Does Nick have a new girlfriend yet? One at a time, ladies, one at a time. All questions will be answered, all mysteries solved. When, Ron? As soon as I get a refill. I'll get it. No, me. Ask me. Enjoying yourself. Like I said, Kim, I don't follow trends, I start them. Besides, who knows how long the old boys will be hot this time? I'm working it. Yeah, I see that. Hey, KP, how are we feeling today? I can't breathe through my nose. Okay, yeah, no idea what you just said. I'm on it. <sighs> oh, I got up too fast. Uh, you really think you're up to this? <laughs> it's just a cold. All I have to do is sit there and guard some little ray thingy. Rod, BB at the Bane entrance. I got Drakkid. Drag kid? Who's he? No! Drakkid! Drag can? Oh, drag it where? I have no idea what this is going to do to you, but I'm banking it's very, very bad! Drakkid! I have to sneeze. What? I need to cover my nose. Nice try, Kimmy. <gasps> Chew! Ah! Oh, that was a low <laughs> blow. Where is it? Where's the dragon? Behold, Rufus, I give you Operation Ray X. Okay, scuba to point A, suction cup to point B, will bungee jump to point C. Like taking candy from a baby. A sick, sneezy baby who sprayed her germy illin' all over me. Thank goodness for the stoppable fortress of immunity. <laughs> fortress of immunity, huh? I so don't get this soap opera. What's not to get? Felicia's archenemy created a machine that swapped her brain with Brock's. I'm gonna whip you in technical merit and artistic impression. Brain. I know our readers are gonna want to know this. Do you have time for a personal life? Oh, I make time. I'll bet you're crushing on someone right now. <gasps> Give us a hint. His name is Bobby Johnson. Just moved here from Upperton. But I'm not sure if I like him because I like him or because he asked out Bonnie first. <gasps> I knew it. Neat, cool hobbies. Oh, nothing special. I collect cuddle buddies. I love them. I can't get to sleep without my pandaroo. <laughs> There must be some other activity that you do regularly. I pick my nose when nobody's looking. Huh? Wait, something's wrong with me. I can only tell the truth, and, and you spend too much time in your room. It's just not healthy. I did not, and I am not. Wait, no. What I meant to say is that I read only the first three pages. I almost dislocated my jaw from yawning. Stoppable. Explain yourself. This book is snobby, pompous, overwritten, and the pictures were in black and white. And you know what else? I've never kissed a girl. Well, except for the CPR dummy in health class. Now, I know it's not the coolest thing to admit, but hey, the truth sets you free. Great. Hey, Penny, you have the most beautilicious eyes in school. Gosh, thanks, Ron. That's so sweet. Hey, I'll see you around, okay? I tell it like it is. Ain't no shame in my game. This rules! This is my Kimiko. I hate it when he calls me that. <sighs> <gasps> Aren't you just the prettiest thing? I have split ends and I'm trying to cover a mountain-sized zit on my cheek that you just touched. <gasps> Dad, you were right about Dr. Cook, too. He is a know-it-all. <gasps> oh, my hair! Don't worry. My father already spilled about your bad peas. And even if he didn't, trust me, aliens could spot that thing from space. <laughs> I'm still mourning the loss of my truth, Mojo. You could just be honest on your own. Believe me, I'm trying. Hi, Ron. Hey, Penny. You, you, have, you have the most, the most, um, you got the most cans in the school's charity can drive. Keep up the good work, Tiger. <laughs> Wait, I didn't hear any complaints from the CPR dummy. Oh, hi, Kimmy. I'm a little busy. We said we were gonna spend the day together, no matter what. Here I am. That is so sweet. Well then, grab a clamp and stop that bleeding. I had no idea how major your job is. I mean, it's, it's, well, it's brain surgery. 
Ooh, you were a big help in there, Kimmy. And you didn't faint once. Oh, I was too busy throwing up. <laughs> I know we promised to spend the day together. No matter what. But this could get dangerous. I need Ron. Well, today you don't have Ron. Today you have Mom. No, 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 but you don't understand. Oh, no, not the puppy dog pout. Mm. Oh, all right, come on. <gasps> so, Mr. Gardino, we meet again. It's been a while. not what Ron would have done. You've never actually seen Ron in action, have you? <laughs> What's with the garden gnome? Hey, B, whatever you do, don't make eye contact. See, Ron had a <clears throat> problem last year. Is this my fifth or seventh chili cheese dog? <laughs> Clown sued. Ron, maybe this is the year you should follow that dream and take on the pie eating contest? No way, KP. No fair food. Maybe we should hold off on the really intense rides? Kim, I can handle it. I'm trying to be sensitive to Felix's condition. Why? Does he have a weak stomach, too? The chair. What of it? Probably gives him a motion sickness edge. I need to borrow your tricycle thingy. Great for split ends, too. Typical night for you guys. Actually, it is. Oh, yeah. You're going down, stoppable. Not if I accidentally hit the reset button. I'm so glad Felix found friends. Oh, because he's new in town, and it's hard to make friends for any kid. Oh, right. Yeah. Of course. You know, it's okay to be a little uncomfortable about it. Oh, um, about what? Felix being in a wheelchair. No, I think it's great. I mean, it's awful, but I'm gonna stop talking now before I say some other stupid thing. Bonnet charger valve! Woohoo! Sounds state-of-the-art, huh? Yeah, a guy thing. Okay, Felix, you go stand watch. You mean sit watch. Kim, I'm just playing you. <laughs> Dude, good one. Why does everything just come out wrong when I'm around Felix? I don't know, but man, you've been getting amped up. It's just, I don't know, I, I see him in that chair, and then I guess I feel like it's not fair, because I can walk and he can't, and so then... You end up saying the positively worst thing possible. I have so offended him. Does he hate me? Nah, he just thinks you're funny. Swell. <laughs> Ron! I'm on it. I win. Are you okay? Yeah, but nobody's gonna be happy when that crate is opened. <laughs> we'll find him, Rufus. What did you say? Motorette, that's who called. Now put me down or I'll tell Mom that you blew off your biology test to save a village from a tidal wave last week. The message is, bring me the turbonic charger valve or else. Ron. I'm a cheerleader waiting by the phone for a guy with a mullet to call. Something's wrong with this picture. Hello? Yo, Brad. Where is Ron? Your skinny dude? Yeah, he's here. Hang with me and the boys. He's doing good, but that can change. In a hurry. Seriously. Kim, get over here! And stop by Bueno Nacho drive through on the way. I'm starving. I'll just bring the turbonic charger valve. Don't have much choice, do I? Seriously? No. See you soon, Red. Seriously. Kim! Felix! So what'd you bring me, a Chimorito? Naco? Come on. She's not kidding, Ron. These guys are dangerous. Okay, okay, I'll try one of these so-called hoagies. Does he always lose focus like this during a mission? What? I've been meaning to give you this. It's from the boys in corporate. Nako royalties check? Ah, the Nako. My wondrous and historic creation for the Bueno Nacho Corp. 
part nacho, part taco. All delicious. Possible. Come here. I need you. Oh, Ronald. It is a wonderment. It will change the world. Yes. Yes, it shall. That's the way you remember it? Pretty much. It, it, it's for na 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 ninety nine million dollars. Ron, stoppable, you are such a hottie. Are you saying that because I'm rich? Uh huh. Cool. So many zeros. Never knew there could be so many zeros. Wow. Hey, think of all the good you can do with this. And the commas. Look at all the commas. Ron, don't unspool the drool. Mm. Oh, sorry, KP. It's just. This is a lot of green. I know, and even though I should be really happy for you, Ron, I'm worried. You know money can't buy happiness, right? Uh, are you sure, KP? I mean, have you seen all these zeros? Oh, okay, I get it. You think this is gonna be one of those times when I suddenly turn into some out-of-control guy and go way overboard with the whole money thing? Well, yeah. Kim, I swear this money will not change me. This is way worse than when he got the Foo Foo haircut. Look at it this way. Ron's lost it much faster than usual, so maybe he'll snap out of it faster too. He's calling himself the Ron. Remember how I've been mean and abusive to you since like junior high? Well, you know I was playing hard to get, right? Baby, the Ron knew. The Ron knew. Ah! Ron, what are you doing? Handing out money to everyone that walks by? Oh, sorry, Kim. Here, get yourself something nice. The Ron will get on the nerves. So you are the Ron. Sir, it is an honor. Or should I say, runner? You should. What? Ron, it's $45,000. Before tax. It's the Ron's money, Kim. He can do whatever he wants with it. No, no. Kim's got a point. Thank you. Jimmy, I can't buy this. I'm gonna need something much more obscenely expensive. Oh, yeah. <sighs> Mr. Ding Bling King. How much does it cost? If you have to ask, you can't afford it. I can't. Well then, the asking price is a paltry $12.8 million. A bargain for a destiny. Hit pause, Ron. There are so many other things you could buy. Less tacky things, like Denver. You agree with me? Let me get back to you. Can I get a ruby belt buckle? You can if I'm buying, baby. Can't argue with destiny. What's with the posse? Ron's rich. Define rich. Just south of billionaire. Really? Maybe I'm on the wrong side. Yeah. <gasps> of my foot. Chill, chill. The Ron is all right. Yeah, what about the money? A little beat up, but still spendable. You had me so scared for a minute. <sighs> oh, whoa, Kim, that won't be necessary. The Ron spread a little Fetty and got you a little something something. Hmm. You like? It's wow worthy. And you said money can't buy happiness. Silly me. Suit up, Ron. The Ron, Kim. The Ron. I like the jet. Let's not push it. That's a team of covert ops specialists I hired. You know, lighten our load a bit. Call us the Ron Squad. No, no, it's the Kim Squad. They're a gift. Ron, you can't buy people. Have you been under a rock this week? Your sidekick bought you a squad? Uh, yeah. Man, I am on the wrong side. Hey, would you accept a generous bribe? Mm -hmm. mm, yes. This is not what I meant. I think I learned a lesson here, Rufus. Mm -hmm. Never carry 99 million in cash. Mm -hmm. And, and, oh, right, and don't try to buy your friends. Uh huh. Sorry, Ron. How much of your money did he get away with? All of it. You walked around with the entire 99 mil in your pockets? Bonnie thought it was fly. Oh, Ron. If you count friends, then I'm the richest man in Middleton. Thanks, Ron. Well, actually, now that I think about it, most people have more friends than I do. You know, I actually, I only have you and Rufus. Only? Mm -hmm. Um, I mean only, as in with best friends like you, I don't need anyone else. Nice save. So, you got enough money for a tacadilla? Better than that, I have enough to grande size. Booyah! Okay, I've been studying the dating habits of Middleton's most desirable females. A distinct pattern emerges. 
I'm guessing this pattern doesn't include you. Correct. It does, however, involve the captain of the basketball team, the captain of the football team, the captain of the judo team. Thus leading to my groundbreaking conclusion, girls dig guys who play sports. Mm -hmm. I could have saved you a lot of time on that one. You don't even play a sport, Ron. I mean, what team could you possibly try out for? All of them! Crush your opponent until they go crying home to mama. Now let's have some fun out there, people! This could get ugly. That's right! Uh-huh! Who the man? How you like me now? I'm hot! You're not! I'm hot! Ron, can you hear me? I can't feel my legs. Like that. I had the grande size to wake you up. Ah, oh, the jock dream is over, KP. The express train to Hottieville left me standing at the station. Don't take it too hard, Ron. No one can say you're a quitter. True. You didn't stop until you were rejected from every sport at Middleton High. Wait, that didn't come out right. I need to drown my sorrows in a slurpster. Hey, Kim. How's our Olympian? He'll live. More or less. What are you doing? Oh, hey, KP. Just speaking a little shred onyx with my fellow athletes. Bob Burnquist, skateboarding king. Dallas Friday, wakeboard maven. And Trevor Vine, Moto X madman. I'm sorry, did you say fellow athletes? Word, Kim. I guess you missed my new sport expo. Umbrella surfing. It's kind of, you know, the thing right now. I was busy getting crushed on by a giant pipe. Whoa, Ron. What's with the fashion blindness? Pretty sweet, huh? It's from my new sponsor. Hold up. Someone is actually giving you money to endorse their equipment? Not just equipment. Many car dogs, too! <laughs> this jock thing is even better than I dreamed. I'm a phenom with the ladies. What's up, Molly? Let's chill later. Katie, Hannah, call me. You want? Ron, let me spell this out for you. Girls like guys who are comfortable with who they are. Embrace your rawness and just stop trying to be something you're not. You know something, Kim? You might be right. From now on, no more posing. No more fronting. I'm Ron Stoppable. What you see is what you get. And I'm not changing for anyone. There you go. <laughs> so, Batical, you're like a, a hero. Remember, embrace the rawness. Listen, I, I don't know if hero would really be the right word to describe me. I. I think crusading crime fighter might be a more accurate term. <laughs> Possible, possible, come on. The exhibit's not that boring. Wow. I can't believe I just zoned out like that. I can't believe the dream I had. About our ancestors? At the expo? And Draken and Shigo too? So we had the exact same dream? Can't get much weirder than that. Sorry about that, folks. Just bringing in the new exhibit. Um, what was the dude's name? Beats me. Oh, that was the famous young gladiator, Ronicus. Okay, I mean, come on! There's gotta be a connection! But to defeat the evil Dracus Maximus. Some say that this mysterious masked warrior was the true key to the many victories of Ronicus. Mmm, sounds about right. Hey, who got the big statue? Uh, a booyah! Whatever. 